Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here. Just me and the critters. Brad's probably getting off work about now. Um, and I thought I'd better get my daily vlog done. It is, let's see what the weather's like right now. It is January 24th, 2018. It is Wednesday evening at 8 o'clock. I don't know if I already said that. Turn that up a little bit. Let's see. Let's pull up the weather. It is 51 degrees. Real fill is 50. The high was 59. The low was 39. And it was kind of an overcast, dark day. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to go uh, uh, take the medication real fast. So last night, I made that chicken marsala in the crock pot. It turned out very well. Um, and as I told you guys, Chicken breasts were very large, so I cut them into four strips each. And um, then after we got done eating, we had that with mashed potatoes and canned beets. Trying to use up my groceries, you know, because it saves us money and we don't have to move as many. And so when we got done eating, we split up. It was a big family pack. I think there were six chicken breasts in there. And they were, like I said, big ones. And so we divided that in half. I labeled it, and we froze half of it, and the other half we just put in the fridge for tonight. And then uh, tonight I made, I turned around and chopped up, diced up the chicken, and um, threw it in Spanish rice. And uh, then I serve it with um, cheddar cheese on top and a little bit of sour cream if, if you want it. So that's a you know, good way to stretch your money. Um, so I did all that, and then um, last night I just I I started a hat. I don't I is a it's a the largest hat I make. But I don't have it done. It normally takes two days. And then just kind of sat around and talked with Brad, you know, about the moving stuff. And we were looking up stuff, um, and we were looking up mattresses and stuff. That's our biggest concern. Is um, and you know comparing costs and stuff and. Uh, we decided to kind of maybe go with the mattress in a uh, box. Those are the ones um, that you take out of the box and then they expand. And it takes anywhere from 48 hours to 72 hours for the bed to expand. Um, but they're said to not need box springs and because um, you don't flip them over or anything like the old one. And also, um, so you can use just a platform instead of a bed frame, and that is a lot cheaper. So, um, I think we're going to go that way, because Linda was talking about, like, in the state of Michigan, it's illegal to sell used mattresses. And I don't know if it is here or not, and I tried to look it up, and I couldn't really get any clear-cut answers. Um, we are going to go to a used, uh, to a thrift store on Monday, and just see what they have as far as furniture and stuff. You know, because we need, you know, everything. So, um, uh, we can do that and see. And if not, we're just going to, it's going to make things tight. But what we're going to do then is when Brad gets his pension and we're going to order in two of the queen size uh, bed and a, a mattress in a box. Um, and two of the platforms. Now, if we can't afford the platforms right now, We'll just put the mattresses on the floor for now, you know, and then get them as we can. And, you know, we're thinking about putting one bed for now in the living room just because we don't have anything to sit on. And we will have my wheelchair, and we have the roll later, but that's not real comfortable to sit on for very long. Um, you know, and we have one folding chair, metal folding chair. And I have an office chair, but the office chair is really uncomfortable to sit on for very long also. So, you know, if I put the bed in there, we'd at least have something to sit on, too. So, we'll figure it all out. It's all an adventure. It's all kind of fun. My Amazon wish list keeps growing and growing. Because little things that y'all don't think about is like a tea kettle. I miss having a tea kettle. Um, you know, uh, we got to buy a coffee pot. Um, now we figured out the coffee pot, let's see, right off the bat, we have to buy a shower curtain liner. So I'm ordering the shower curtain. 
but get the liner and the hook and to get the shower head because we like the ones that have the long hose that you can detach and stuff that's just so nice for being able to really rinse off everywhere and also like if you're shampooing dogs and that kind of stuff um you know so we'll get one of those what else a coffee pot i don't know everything that we figured out that we were going to need right off the bat was less than a hundred dollars the must have to be in there right um and uh um, the rest we'll just work on you know, as we can. Because like that, if I can't afford to, to get the shower curtain that I want, because it's that old barn door looking, they have it on Amazon, it's got a matching rug. Um, if I have the liner, I can wait a couple weeks and then order. You know. It's like they have recliners that we really like that I put in there that, you know, it, I may have to order one recliner on one payday and then wait two weeks and order another one. And that's fine. It's free shipping. So, um, but yeah, so we've been kind of thinking about that kind of stuff and, you know, kind of plan on how we're going to do this. Brad did let our park manager know today that we will be leaving. So now all of a sudden, a couple weeks ago when Brad paid, they said, yeah, hey, you guys are, uh, you guys are paid up. You know, you guys are <clears throat> like a month ahead. Now they're like, oh, no, you're not a month ahead. And she's like, I'm not sure. I'll have to figure it out. Now, all of a sudden, because we're leaving, they um, are concerned about the partying and the fire pit smoke. Now, when Brad talked to her a couple weeks ago, there's not really anything we can do about the fire pit smoke. Well... You know, Brad explained, you know, about my breathing problem. Well, now, since a couple other people have complained, and because they themselves were trying to be outside and have a picnic, and they got smoked out because of it, it's a problem. And then they got a couple other complaints about these people, the same people, out partying till 1.30 in the morning. So, you know. But, um, that'll all work out. Yeah, I told Brad, I said, well, be what it'll be, and, and, um, but besides that, I'm just kind of th sitting and thinking about what, what I need to do next, and all that kind of fun stuff. We will be getting a new P.O. box, um, but for now, if you want to send, send anything, you know, um, I still have the same P.O. box, and then what we have to do is get a new P.O. box in Crawfordville, and then we'll close this one out. But there'll be a change of address, so it's not even a big deal. I like having a P.O. box. I like having all my mail delivered there. I don't have to worry about anybody taking my mail or anything. So, you know, I definitely, you know, I don't want to ever have my mail delivered to my house again. I just like knowing it's in a like locked box, you know. So that's, that's just me, you know. Um, I guess because it's been, God, about 20 years that we've done locked boxes and, and I just prefer it um you know and if there's a package sent you know we have just a standard little P.O. box but they just put a yellow slip in your box and then you go to the counter and they hand you your box so it's no big deal they're very very nice um but yeah that's all we've been doing I've been thinking about like I said how I want to decorate outside you know how it went where they want the bird bath, where I want, I have a bunch of sunflower seeds. Now, I think I'm going to send part of those sunflower seeds to Linda, because, you know, seeds only last for so long. So I think I'm going to, because I have a ton, I think I'm going to divide them in half and send her half, and that'll be kind of fun, because we both can grow them. And, you know, um, I've got some wild uh, flower mix, and I've got, you know, a bunch of other stuff. But I'm kind of thinking about how I want, where I want to put the flowers, you know, the plants and the flowers. I'm going to put the plant named Fred, which is this kind of a palm tree and then that we bought. Um, and then it has um, this, this kind of an ivy grown vine growing out the bottom of it. It's really cool looking. That's going to be on the top step. It's not really a deck, but it's, you know, so it'll be right there and stuff. But I'm getting excited about how I'm going to decorate it. My, my friend... 
B is sending me some curtains that she's not using. She took a picture of them. They'll be great. Um, and I'm excited about that. And I think I can alter those where I probably can get um, enough. I have six windows. Four are pretty big size. But I know I can, I can get probably a good amount. If I don't need to alter them, I won't because they look like really nice curtains. So we'll see. But either way, it'll work out. I'm getting so excited about having, eventually I want to get a good sturdy either table or desk that I can leave my um, sewing machine up on. I miss sewing so much. I was watching Sunshine Jennifer Cook last night. We're doing a live and I sure enjoyed that. And she was sewing. And, um... Uh, I miss sewing. I used to sew for Joanne's Fabrics. Um, and I miss sewing. I miss quilting. I miss making, like, I used to make some of my own clothes and stuff. I want to make myself some skirts. I've been wearing skirts quite a bit. Um, I want to make some summertime skirts and, and dresses and, and shirts and stuff. Um, you know. I, I like to, if you don't have something that fits correctly, it's easy to just take sleeves off and put different ones on or whatnot. Um, so I'm really excited about getting and having like all my yarn in one room instead of having it part of it outside and part of it here and stuff. I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about a lot of stuff, huh? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's all we've been doing. Um. Like I said, Brad's on his way home, and um, I already got dinner made, and um, that'll probably be about it, you know, that's just probably about it, it's supposed to be nice weather, and you know, I so badly want to start boxing stuff up, and I know we do have a couple of laundry baskets outside and I'm thinking I'm going to take and hose those off let them dry and then I'm going to put some of the stuff we're not using like I have art supplies that are extra art supplies and stuff that you know they're already in a box I just need to close the box up some of the stuff we're not using like the sewing machine etc etc so you know all of that good kind of stuff yeah Exciting. Exciting. I never thought I'd be so excited about, you know, getting into a place and just so excited about not that first night. Man, I'm taking me a shower in our own shower, our own bathroom, you know. And then the dogs are getting bath because, whoo, mm, especially Missy Mama. Yeah. She'd be a little old difference. And I, like I said to her, I don't have any way to give her a bath here. Unless it's outside and it's just the water too cold right now. So, yeah, she'll be getting her bath. You know. Well, she likes baths, actually. And and Nixie needs a bath, too. You know. And Charlie can get one just because. Right, Charlie? He's laying on his back here ignoring me. <laughs> but, how have you guys been? Hmm? Hmm? And I think I'm going to give going live a try after we get into the trailer and we get all settled, I think I'm going to give it a try once in a while. You know, I think it would be fun to be able to talk to some of you guys. You know, so anyway, that's all that's going on here. Nothing major. Um, I'm going to keep this a little shorter because um, my internet speed right now and with Comcast, you know, CenturyLink is just slightly higher than dial-up. So, like, a 15-minute video will take me over two hours to upload. Oh, my God. And I was uploading it with my phone, but it's costing way too much data. So, you know, yeah. So, anyway, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so much. And I will work on answering comments tonight. And I think you guys are awesome. And be good to yourself. Talk to you later. Bye.